to tell you of my trial and of my exile onto Boxer Coast. The Council of Architects has sent me to the world of Atlantis as per the rules of my trial. Underground, I've been able to build an outpost inside the caves nearby. I anticipate that I'll be spending a very long time in the mines. At least, when I can stand to. Just outside the outpost, there's a ravine. It's got all the lava I'll need to make a precious stone city. As far as searching in the mines has gone, I've resorted to strip mining. Going through the caves was not fruitful in my endeavors to find the precious gem, diamond. Coal has been plentiful, though. I need not worry about fueling my machines. And I doubt to say, I dare say, my mistakes, friend, that I'll run out of redstone. Iron, iron has been easy to find. Diamond, no. However, my project hasn't been all that tedious. I've taken the opportunity to do some home improvement as well. And honestly, friend, I much prefer it to the wind and grind of my and while I've had to run back and forth between rooms, sometimes I like to stop by the kitchen for a snack. I'm happy knowing that my workshop and its automatic furnaces are being put to good use. I've managed to start on the front entrance, and while I've had to grab more spruce, and face the dangers of the mines, But the construction project is going through very well. Of course, I want to put some flowers right outside the area that it's been. It's really close to the cows. Getting the front entrance just right is taking a bit of time, but it's worth it. Especially given the fact that it is the front entrance. And it's right next to the farm. 
and mines. Cows I mentioned earlier were traded to me by a native of this world. I still consider myself a stranger, even though with the amount of progress that I've made, Fort Maverick might as well become a city. And most surprisingly, I was able to meet with an old friend. He's managed to build himself a very ornate base. I wonder what he calls it. <laughs> 